Have you been injured in California? You've seen a doctor, a doctor's providing you temporary work restrictions and you're wondering, what do I do? What are my obligations? What are my employer's obligations? Hi, my name is Michael Burgess. I'm a legal certified specialist in California workers' compensation. I'm a trial attorney and I'm the managing attorney of MBNA. This video is going to focus on the employee's individual rights and obligations when reporting a work-related claim and specifically when dealing with temporary work restrictions. First, um, it's very important to timely communicate your ability to work, which is really defined in the medical work restrictions. So the first legal obligation is just very simple and straightforward, but to be effective at communicating your ability to work. Now, I will stress to the viewers here, always do this in writing, whether it be text message, whether it be an email, um, you know, a fax, do it in writing. Because if you verbally communicate this and litigation has to assume, uh, the employer might contend that you didn't communicate that. Uh, that's why it's always important to have it in writing. But the first duty is to timely and effectively communicate your ability to work to your employer. And again, do this in writing. The second is to diligently make all your medical appointments. If you postpone those appointments or indicate you had to take a vacation, uh, you know, if there's a delay in getting that medical evidence to the employer, the employer could uh, see that as an unwillingness to diligently provide those temporary work restrictions and they could consider that job abandonment. You know, the third thing that's really important is that I stress to all my clients, always maintain your ability and willingness to work within those work restrictions. So my, I tell my clients, if you're communicating with the employer, your position should be, I will work and I want to work so long as you can accommodate those temporary work restrictions. It's important because if you say, well, I don't even think I can work in those work restrictions uh, or I don't think I can work at all, it potentially alleviates the employer's obligations and can make a, a fact pattern for uh, uh, essentially job abandonment and your employer can potentially terminate you. So again, to reiterate, one, effectively and timely communicate your ability to work with your employer. Do this in writing. Be diligent, make all your medical appointments, don't delay. And then third, always express a willingness to work within your work restrictions. If you do those three things, that is essentially the, the basis of what the employer is legally obligated to do when there's a work-related injury and they're getting temporary work restrictions. I hope this video has been helpful. Please click the links below, which I will be focusing on the employer's obligations, which are much more than the employees, as well as the overall entitlement and what that means bottom line to my client. If you have any questions or concerns, we're standing by, give us a call.